Hey everybody, this is Greg with Medical Muscle. So I was out with some friends at a restaurant, and one of them asked me, um, isn't medical school really hard? And I thought about it, and my response was yes and no. There are parts of it that are, are somewhat challenging, and there are parts that are really easy, that make medical school very doable, uh, even for the average person. So, <clears throat> the main reasons why medical school is hard. One of the first. And this is what I'm basing off of in the first two years of medical school. I've just completed STEP. So I'm basing it off of the basic sciences. Is that you have a ton of information. The common quote that everybody says about medical school is it's like drinking out of a fire hose. Which, I can agree. Um, I think in the first year alone... I made around 20,000 Anki flashcards. That was probably overkill, but that covered every, almost all the information that I covered in that first year. And STEP, which I was studying for, um, covers way more than that. So yes, there is a lot of information. Now, what makes it hard is also not only having all that information, it's like, how do you consume it? How do you get through it? And I think what makes medical school really hard is that um, you have to be self-motivated to understand all that stuff. That's a really hard thing for a lot of people. St. George University, like my school, only had two lectures a day. We had two 50-minute lectures and then occasionally a small group that was an hour and a half. But other than that, we had the whole day to do whatever we wanted to do, you know, study, whatever. We weren't on any time schedule. You could study whenever you wanted. You could work out, whatever. So because you had so much freedom, I think it's really hard for a lot of people not to just go to the beach or hang out with people or take a bunch of breaks. It's hard to just sit and study day after day when in reality you're not forced to do anything. You know, it's all on you. And that's a hard transition, I think, for a lot of students from undergrad is that, you know, you have to treat this like a job. Um, you know, you have to just basically put in those hours, especially when there's a lot of distractions. Now, there are also extrinsic and intrinsic stressors that make your life way harder than it needs to be. All right. So extrinsic factors. There's a lot of students this may be your situation, are pushed by family members um, or someone else. They're, they're, they're being pushed into medicine. They feel like they need to do it for somebody else. This is not primarily their goal. Um, that makes it really hard because then, you know, you feel like you're doing something for someone else. That can make it very stressful. It can make the whole process very unenjoyable. Intrinsically, that was more my situation because I didn't have any pressure like that from my family, was that I wanted to do very well. And the, the, the worry and stress of doing well and not, not killing every quiz, not getting every single Anki card correct, or having to work really hard on certain topics, you feel um, a little dejected because... You know, you're putting all this work in, and sometimes it just doesn't stick. And the stress sometimes makes things worse because, because you don't feel like studying, you decide to take some breaks. And because you're taking more breaks, you're also not studying. And because you're not studying, you're stressed out. And because you're stressed, you feel like you need a break. It's a bad cycle. And that can happen to a lot of students. Um, especially because you're on your own. That's that's the real, real issue. The last major reason why medical school is hard is that it's a marathon. You know, you're going to have to do this, you know, for four years straight plus residency. So I think for a lot of people, they start to question, is this really what I want to do? 
Is this something that I want to stick with for this long? This is a huge chunk of my life going toward one thing. And there's a lot of uncertainty. What if you don't pass step? What if you don't pass a course? What if you don't like it? What if you don't get a residency? What if you don't get the residency you want? What if you, you know, don't get the specialty you want? There's a lot up in the air. And you're, you're putting a lot of effort into something that there is a possibility that it may not work out. It's a scary thing. And it's hard to stay motivated after that many years. And also pushing yourself fairly hard, fairly consistently. Now, that's all the bad stuff. There are aspects of medical school that make it very doable and in my opinion easier than certain other careers the one big one is that yes you are drinking out of a fire hose you have a ton of information i had twenty thousand flashcards my first year but individually a lot of that information is relatively easy to understand i think for the average generally smart person they could figure it out you know you have very minimal math uh, the hardest math you get is square roots, maybe. Um, you have very basic chemistry, almost like no general chemistry, very little biochemistry, um, no organic chemistry. So if you hated organic, don't worry. It's not that. It's a lot of pathology, which in my opinion is really interesting. And that goes into the next part of why medical school is very doable is that, you know, yeah, you're learning all this information but you can apply it and it's it's it is intriguing it should be intriguing you should enjoy what you're learning for the most part you know i think it's cool that you can think about the mechanisms mechanism of action of ibuprofen or when you have a stomach upset you can like think about what are all the differentials that are going on uh, you may have family members who have genetic conditions or health conditions and you can think about that and you can talk with these people and you can have a real conversation about the medication they're taking it's just it feels like you just get a better understanding of the human body and I find that very interesting now talking about the amount of hours that you're gonna put in I don't think you actually put in very many hours uh, if you put in I would say between mm, five and six solid, maybe even four, four to six solid study hours a day, Monday through Friday, and maybe a little bit on a Saturday, and a little bit on a Sunday, you know, a few hours, you're going to do very well in medical school. It's not like a normal, it's not like you have to put in 10 hours. I thought you needed to, but what I realized is that I wasn't being efficient with my time. Um, a lot of it comes from learning. You know, as you go through medical school, you start to learn better study habits. You learn from other students. You always progress in what the best way to go through material is. So if you're willing to be open to new ideas on how to study, um, and you actually sit down without distractions, without YouTube, without Instagram, without TikTok, without friends, and you sit down and get your work done, it's relatively a small work week, maybe 30 hours a week, okay? Um, that's really hard for a lot of people because again, you're self-motivated. You have to sit down and actually sit with this material, um, which not a lot of people can do, I'm gonna tell you. it's it, it is hard to be self-motivated, but in reality, that's how much time you have. And coming from working, okay, I worked for 10 years. I have more time off as a medical student than I ever had when I was working, ever. I have like, I think like two and a half months off a year from school. Plus I get weekends off and holidays, all holidays are off in medical school for the most part. If you're in Grenada, they're going to be Grenadian holidays. They won't be like Thanksgiving. But you get a lot of time to just do whatever you want because you're self-studying, right? I can work out whenever I want. 
I can go to the beach whenever I want. I, it's all on me, which is a good thing and a bad thing. And I think that's what separates students who get honors and students who don't is being efficient with their time, getting their work done when they need to, whereas students who struggle are having too much fun time or too much distraction, too much distraction, either technological, that's a common one, friends, things like that, obligations that are not medical school related. So is medical school hard? Well, I think if you are willing to study consistently, you're willing to put in the effort every single day, not get dejected if you're not getting killer scores. It's a hard thing. Be willing to improve your study habits as you go, learn from your mistakes, and also take care of yourself, right? Not studying all the time, um, exercising, having a pretty decent diet, then I think you'll do excellent and you'll enjoy it. Um, find enjoyment in medical school. Um, enjoy the material, enjoy your time off, and you'll do very well and it'll be a great experience. All right, guys. So I hope that was a informative video and I hope you do very well on whatever exam you're going into.